Timers are great for sales or counting down to a holiday or event, um, but they can also be used in triggered emails or transactional emails by using dynamic dates. Um, this feature allows you to use a timer you just designed um, as a template, but give each subscriber um, or site visitor a unique countdown. So if you click on dynamic dates, you'll see that we have three options. The first option we're going to talk about is email merge tags. Um, this lets you append any date formatted merge tag from your ESP. Um, and that's represented here in the green portion of the image URL. So this will work with all ESPs. Um, examples of this could be things like a trial end date, delivery date for a product they just ordered, or an abandoned shopping cart coupon that only lasts for a few days or hours. Um, if you click the blue uh, show date formatting options, um, you'll see some other things that we offer like using not just a day but a specific time or adding hours to a particular date and also using different date formats. The second option that we offer is email open. So this will start a timer once someone actually opens the email. Um, the way we do this is we have a unique ID, which once again is represented here in the green. In this case, we're using email, but your ESP might offer a unique ID that you can use there as well. Um, and then you can see what we're going to do is add three hours to this timer. So the second each person opens this email, um, we're going to have a three hour countdown. So if they come back two hours from then, they're going to see just one hour. Um, and that's specific for that unique ID, um, or in this case, email address. And the third option that we have um, is web page. So what this does is it writes a cookie to the visitor's browser um, and allow you to have a countdown for a specific amount of hours. So in this case, we have just one hour there. So you can put this on your website um, or multiple places on your website. And as they navigate through your website, they'll see the same countdown um, to exactly one hour from when we wrote that cookie. Um, also, you can use expiration images with all of these options. So once a timer is done counting down, you can display another image. Um, contact us with any questions you have at support at niftyimages.com, and we look forward to hearing from you.